friends this is my end of September grocery haul I know you just saw a grocery haul last week but that one was filmed <laughs> that one was an old one this is an up-to-date one so let me go ahead and turn this camera around and I'll show you what I picked up from Walmart okay so down here at this end is, is the non food items yes they are starting to get their Christmas stuff in and I know what's on the website is not as exactly the same that's in the store, but I thought these were so stinking cute. So I went ahead and picked these up. And I always um, stock up on clear mini lights. I usually get the 50 count, but they didn't have any. So I just went ahead and got the 100 count. And I'm hoping that I can find the 50 count eventually, or maybe um, in a couple of months I might actually go into the store I uh, might be able to and stock up on the 50 count I also like the 20 count um, but I went ahead and got these just in case I can't find anything else those were the only Christmas items I picked up uh, I picked up some more gum the spearmint extra I really like that picked up some more wax melts I got the autumn night stormy autumn night and leathered amber which they both smell really good and then I picked up these um, unstoppables fresh these are for my dad he has a wax melt burner too and so I went ahead and picked these up for him got the bigger package because I think they'll last longer for him so um, I'll take those over to him later um, I picked up some more hydrogen peroxide. I got some more of my Dove uh, dry spray antiperspirant. Or is this deodorant? No, this is antiperspirant. Really like this. Travis needed some more um, deodorant, so I got him some of the Suave, a dual pack. Picked up another one of these indoor timers. I like these. Um, I have a couple of lights downstairs that are a little bit hard to um, reach, like the switch is hard to reach, and so I'm going to put one uh, a timer on them so that they'll come on and go off automatically and I don't have to struggle with it. Um, I picked up two of these bleach tabs for the last month probably. They have not had these in stock. They had them in stock this time so I went ahead and just got two. Uh, bottles of them and they will last me quite a while. I picked up some of these sanded perch covers. This is for my parakeet's cage, my parakeet banana. This goes up for her. And then I picked up some of these crunchy dog biscuits for Sally. And then on to the food items. I got some of this good seed, um, Dave's bread. This stuff is so good. It makes excellent toast. For, this is for me and, Tra and um, Scott. And then I got two of the honey wheat. These are for Travis and Olivia. Travis needed some more chips for his lunch, so I picked those up for him. And then these are for my dad. Uh, he got one of the, a family member brought him some of these um, the week of the funeral. And he really, really liked them. And so I picked those up for him. And I know they're not healthy, but I figured. Uh, an 87 year old should be allowed to eat whatever they want. So I picked those up for him. Um, picked up some more pasta, some whole wheat egg noodles, and some whole wheat penne pasta. Got some of the Miracle Whip with the um, avocado oil, I think. You know, olive oil. Olive oil, Miracle Whip. Got some ragu pizza sauce some mustard, some whole wheat spaghetti. I got two cans of organic corn, two cans of organic green beans, two cans of organic black beans, some Fiesta nacho cheese soup for when we have tacos or nachos. Um, Travis and Scott really like this. Got some chili powder because I was completely out. I got two cans of tomato soup and two cans of chicken noodle soup because it is getting to be that time where soup is a good option. 
I have been looking and looking for the, the meat sticks at Aldi and they have not had them for a long time. Scott really has been missing them, so I just went ahead and got him some of the Slim Jim. Um, this is the original and they're the snack size sticks. There's 46 of them in this box. So he'll be happy to have those back. I got three boxes of Nature Valley granola bars. I got the chocolate, the peanut butter, and the oats and honey. And then I got two boxes of these freeze-dried fruit crisps. Um, these are for me. Sometimes I just want something something crunchy and something sweet and sometimes you know fruit is a really good option but fresh fruit doesn't last very long around here so these would be nice to just keep uh, for those times when I want some fruit and we don't have any so in the package they have two of the Asian pear two Fuji apple and two banana and strawberry and so I went ahead and just got two boxes of those Got a thing of coffee for the guys. Two packs of organic bananas. Two heads of organic um, iceberg lettuce. Some dairy-free cheese. Got some of our dairy-free avocado oil butter. I got some vanilla bean ice cream. This is for Travis and Scott. And then I got some frozen grape juice. These are the creamers for uh, Travis mainly, um, he uses these. The, what is this? <laughs> I can I'll never remember. This was a replacement item. Uh, Hershey's Caramel. Chocolate Caramel. And then Vanilla Caramel. I had ordered the Chocolate Caramel in the Great Value brand, but they didn't have it, so they replaced it with that. I got some of this non-dairy Ready Whip for uh, Olivia and I, made with coconut milk. I got two pounds of ground turkey, a pie crust, I'm probably gonna make a chicken pot pie or something, and two packages of um, the Johnsonville breakfast sausages, breakfast links, these are so good. Uh, I got a thing, a two pound package of organic honey crisp apples. I got a three pound bag of boneless skinless chicken breasts and three pound bag of boneless skinless chicken thighs. And then I got this tub. This is to go down in my food room for more food storage. Um, I was My other tub that I had was completely full. So I went ahead and got another one. And then these items on top are going to go into my food storage. If you don't know, I'm trying to get a, between a three and a six month um, stock of food, canned items and things um, up. So this is gonna go down in the food storage room. Uh, some instant mashed potatoes, some pearl couscous, some salt, a thing of tomato paste, a thing of baking soda, and then two big cans of tomato puree. Okay, that is my Walmart order. I'll get this put away and show you what I picked up from Kroger. Here is our Kroger order. They had a couple of substitutes that I'll talk about when I get down there. But I got a, some organic Pink Lady apples. Yes, I got Honeycrisp at Walmart and I got Pink Lady at Kroger. Uh, I got, it's apple season. I've really been hungry for apples. So you'll see that I picked up some apples at Aldi as well. Uh, got some chow mein noodles. Three cans of chicken broth three cans of beef broth. Uh, Scott really likes this chunky soup. So I got him the steak and potato and the sirloin burger with country vegetables. I got two more jars of the um, black raspberry simply fruit jelly. I really like that, it's one of my favorite. Got some Mountain Dew for Travis. This is dairy free. Cool Whip and I had ordered two tubs and they only had one, so that was one of the things. This was my um, plain cream cheese, dairy-free. I normally get, oh, I can't remember the, a different brand, but they didn't have it, so they substituted this one. Hopefully I like it. I got some Haagen-Dazs um, dairy-free 
chocolate salted fudge truffle ice cream. Now this is the one they substitute, substituted I am not happy about. Um, and I didn't realize what they were doing. But I ordered the dairy-free vanilla bean ice cream and they substituted it for the no sugar added, which the problem with that is, is it's sweetened with um, erythritol, which number one, I can't eat it, and number two, it doesn't taste very good to, to Olivia, she doesn't like it, and it's also got um, chicory root in it, which I can't eat. So I can't eat any of this, which I didn't really need it anyway, but Olivia doesn't like it, so I don't know what we're gonna do. With that, I might give it to my sister whose uh, grandson is dairy free. He might like it. I got some more of the uh, dairy free sour cream. Got some organic frozen mis mixed vegetables. I didn't realize I had ordered this at um, Walmart. <laughs> so I got another one of these. I do that sometimes. I can't keep track of what I order from different stores and I get duplicates. Um, I got some dairy-free shredded cheese, and then I got some of this dairy-free almond creamer, sweet and creamy. Um, they have not had my half and half, my dairy-free half and half, so I've had to switch back to this creamer, which I really, really like it, but the problem is it does have sugar in it, which I'm trying to get off of the sugar, but um, yeah, so that's what I had to do with that. All right, this is my Kroger order. I'll show you what I picked up from Aldi next. All right, this is everything I picked up from Aldi and some of it's for use immediately and some of it's for food storage. I have three of the Everything Bagels. These are for Travis. Two bags of the sprouted grain um, bread. One looks like it's been, it was in the oven a little bit longer than the other, but that's okay, that's pretty good bread. Two bags of the tortilla chips that my family really likes. Two boxes of instant brown rice. One is for now, to use now. One is for food storage. Two cans of mandarin oranges. Those are for food storage. Two cans of green beans. Those are for food storage. Two things of my organic tomato and basil tomato so or pasta sauce. One is for uh, immediate use. One is for food storage. Two cans of chicken breast. Those are for food storage. Two packages of fast rising yeast. I'll just stick those in the freezer and they're mainly for food storage, but if I need to use them, I can. I'll have them. I picked this up just because it was something I'd never seen before and it sounded interesting. Peach chunky applesauce. So it's apples and peaches, I guess. I guess apples and peaches. Yeah, apples and peaches. No high fructose corn syrup, but it does have sugar added. So that'll just be for a treat for the family. I got two of the organic macaroni cheese dinners, one for, these are for Travis, one for now, one for food storage, and then I got the shells and cheese organic, one for now, one for food storage. I got six seltzer waters, these are for Scott, he really likes these, and Olivia's been drinking them too, she prefers the berry, but I got uh, two lemon lime, two berry, and two grapefruit. I got some of these dark chocolate almonds, these are I intended for these to be for food storage because one of the things that some of the um, people that I've been watching have suggested is that you do have some chocolate um, put back because you know you get what's called food fatigue if you're eating the same things over and over again and so if you're in a situation where you're uh, having food shortages it's nice to have a treat so I'm going to stick this in my food storage. A bag of dried cranberries. Two boxes of saltines, one for now, one for food storage. A box of, um, these are like uh, Triscuits or I think, I think they're called Triscuits. Um, they're wheat crackers and they're the rosemary and olive oil kind. Those are for now. Uh, I got some 
cocktail peanuts. Scott was wanting peanuts the other day, so I picked those up for him mainly. A bag of organic apples. These are gala apples. I'm going to use these to make probably an apple crisp or something out of. That's why I bought three bags of apples, two bags for eating, and one bag for cooking with. Uh, I got some whole wheat tortillas, two blocks of Colby Jack, and a block, block of mozzarella. These are for the guys for whenever we have pizza or tacos. And then I got some American uh, sliced cheese. This is also for Travis and Scott. Two pounds of butter. Probably stick one in the freezer, one for now. Uh, half and half, that's for Scott. A big old pork loin roast. I can get two to three meals out of a pork loin roast, so those are nice to have around. Two dozen eggs. Um, after I placed the order, I thought maybe I should have ordered more eggs, but I can get eggs at my work. They're farm raised, so it'll be fine. But these are organic eggs. I got a bunch of this thin sliced meat for sandwiches, a variety, and we'll just stick those in the freezer. Two bags of frozen broccoli florets, a frozen pizza, that's for uh, Travis, and Scott sometimes has some of it. Some paper towels, some toilet paper, some sandwich bags, storage bags, gallon storage bags, one for now, one for um, to go down in the long term food storage area, and a bag or a box of trash bags. That is everything I picked up from Aldi. All right, friends, that is my end of September grocery haul. This month has just flown by. I can't even believe we're edging our way into October already. Um, I can't say that I'll be sorry when this year is over because I'm sure hoping 2021 is a better year. I think we all are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I might do um, I'm not sure. I might do a, an extra grocery haul next week, like a special one, just for adding to my um, food storage downstairs. I need to take kind of organize it again and take stock of what we have and rotate some things out from downstairs and bring it up. And uh, yeah, because I don't want all that food to go bad. I know canned goods last a really long time, but you should still rotate your food in your food storage. So next week you might see another grocery haul just specifically for the food storage, but we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. Anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I'm kicking around the idea of maybe doing Vlogtober. I don't know. Um, typically when I do those vlog months, I don't upload on Sundays for sure because I just take that day off and I might, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do. If you start seeing videos more frequently, you'll know, know that I decided to do Vlogtober. Um, but I just haven't decided yet. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew and I don't want to put too much on myself and get myself all stressed out. But I do enjoy doing like Vlogist and Vlogtober and, and stuff like that. But anyway, we will see. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we will talk to you later. Bye friends.